ladies and gentlemen, I am back. It's been a week. <laughs> like, holy crap. Uh, maybe, maybe you guys watched the uh, TwitchCon video as well. But it's been a week since I've actually made a full-fledged video. And I'm very excited to talk about Caesar coming to Zen the Zone Zero. And I got to ask the question, should you summon? It, it's a very important question on this channel. We ask it a lot. So today we're going to be talking about if you should be summoning on the Caesar banner or should you wait until Caesar is done. Now, before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to touch that wonderful little bell at the bottom. And of course, check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Guys, TwitchCon was so sick and I, I got some insider scoop on a bunch of stuff that's coming to Gamer Subs. Brand new flavors by, you know, wonderful people like Swagger Souls, Tech Toad, Tricky, uh, you know, freaking Rainho. We got four new flavors that we got to try out. I tried them all and they're so freaking good. These flavors, I think, are going to blow the previous flavors out of the water. 100%. And also we got the Pixel Cups coming, which is going to be a fully 360 LED lit up cup. So if you like this, make sure to use code Tystra for 10% off. Guys, Caesar, right? Caesar looks dope. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of a fan. Let's see, let me let me put you right over here with me real quick. Caesar looks dope. And the reason why I like Caesar, right? Is because Caesar has a cool mechanic with her. It's gonna be a parry system. Now, of course, Ben has this a little bit too, but hers goes a little bit, a little bit further into it, right? Let's go and talk about these core skills real quick. Uh, these are, the, we got a passive and a battle, battle spirit thingy or whatever the fuck. Well, I want to talk about the actual skill. Can we get to the skill, please? Can we get to the skill? That's what I want to talk about. Uh, I think it's special. Is it special? I think so. A or am I just crazy? I'm just crazy right now, aren't I? So, all right, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, basically, when you activate your special, right, your regular special, you're going to strike forward with your shield, dealing physical damage. If Caesar is hit by an enemy at the beginning of the skill activation, it will trigger a perfect block, negating the damage once and automatically following up with a special attack roaring thrust. Now, what, that's basically the parry system right there, right? And that's just the normal. But if we go to the special part of this roaring thrust, right? After activation, special attack, shockwave shield bash, uh, upward th or you thrust... Why you thrust forward? Probably up or thrusts forward. That was probably just a typo on Pride Wind. Fix your stuff. Uh, dealing physical damage. If perfect block or retaliation is not triggered, the anti-interruption level is increased while using this skill. What does that mean? Well, if you use the skill and you don't perfect block, right? Or you don't use retaliation, which we'll get to here in a second as well. Um, basically, it's going to increase your anti-interruption. So you're if you get hit, you're not going to stop doing your skill, right? Uh, so they were just talking about retaliation. So let's go ahead and dive into it a little bit. After using the skill, Caesar enters the guard stance, reducing incoming damage by 40%. When attacked by an enemy, Caesar blocks with the shield and gets slightly knocked back. Press the special or special to trigger retaliation, activating special attack roaring thrust or EX special attack overpowered shield bash. When retaliation is triggered, Caesar is invulnerable while using the skill. So she's gonna be basically the powerhouse of your team, right? And she's a physical unit, which works really, really well with, you know, just in general, like the re rest of the Sons of Kaladin. So if you get Bernice in the next update, Caesar's going to be a pretty good option for you to put with her because of the fact that they're on the same team and she's able to take on that little bit of damage, right? So Caesar's already kind of dope and I'm a sucker for different types of mechanics. I don't always like just going full on attacker mode, um, except for Jane Doe because she's hot, but I do like characters with different types of mechanics. It's the reason why I like using Rena because Rena, you know, you attack once and then you could take her off the field and her attack is still gonna go. That's the whole point of an off field DPS, right? Duh. But with her, you know, it's a little bit different, at least in my opinion. Now, with Caesar alongside her, we're gonna be getting some four stars like Piper and Piper is going to be an anomaly physical unit, which, we already kind of have like a decent amount of anomaly users at this point, but Piper is not entirely from what I saw the last time, but it's been a, it's been two weeks since I've looked at the tier list. Let's go ahead and take a look at Piper's standings, right? Okay, so Piper is the worst of the anomaly DPSs. Let that kind of sink in a little bit. 
<laughs> so if you don't have Gracie, you don't have Jade, then you could use Piper. But Piper uh, has a little charge attack, which turns her into a Beyblade, which is pretty sick. So I guess that's cool for her. I think that that's just kind of whatever. You know, it's not, not anything crazy. Um, but yeah, she does have her own little like Beyblade attack, which is no. So, and then Anton is going to be a part of this banner, which if you have not gotten Anton fully done, either you're saving for certain characters, like very, very free to play, or, uh, you've just been unlucky not to pull him, right? Because I have pulled so much Anton for no reason, bro. For no reason. It's not to say Anton's bad, like... We look at the tier list here, right? I mean, he's bad. <laughs> I don't think he's that bad. I, I, I don't mind using Anton. Like, he's not terrible. At least in my opinion. But he, I guess, yeah, it makes sense. Like, if you're if you're looking at this tier list and you look at Ellen Joe, Zhu Yan at the top, and then you got Nekomata and uh, Soldier Eleven. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Anton would be down there. Oh, really tied with Corrin and Billy Joe, huh? Or Billy Kid, Billy Joe. What, Green Day? Anyways, Anton uh, is very, very different. Um, the only thing I like about him is that when you use his attacks, like, and you use his special EX attack, like, you could use it a lot comparatively to others. Like, it, it's got a full range. However, uh, I don't really use him too often, so maybe, that, maybe that's it. Maybe I need to build him up. And then use him to fully understand why he, Pridewin uh, puts it uh, puts him so far down. But I don't think he's terrible. Like, he's all right. Again, we don't have a lot of characters in general. Like, if you look at this, like, in all actuality, like, we got, what was it? Quingy, Jane Doe, and Seth. So, we got three characters from there uh, from the last update. So, I mean, yeah. It's pretty crazy to think about. Like, who did... Oh yeah, it was uh, it was Ellen Joe and Ju Yan as that was starting. Oh wait, but yeah, it was one point one more one point. I'm dumb. Don't mind me. We're still in the early stages of ZZZ. But anyways, I'm rambling a little too much. I'm just excited to be back and finally on my computer looking at stuff. So should you summon for Caesar, right? Well, if you're going by the four stars, I don't think you should, because Piper isn't exactly the greatest anomaly user. I didn't like her in general, like when it came to using her in regards to like her trials. And then Anton, I don't think is that bad, uh, but when you compare him to the other attackers, like, yeah, you, you'd be fine with just Billy, Billy Kid. Hmm. Plus, I think you get all three of these characters right here, the attackers for free. So there's really no point in you like going and summoning for Anton, right? It's not like Anton is like the end all be all, right? But if you're summoning to get a better defensive unit, I think that Caesar is going to be the top of the list when it comes to defensive units, right? And it's not like it's a hard list to beat because really you look at support characters and there's differences between like debuffing, buffing and shield, obviously. There's only two shields and it's Ben and Seth. And Seth's good. But I think Caesar, obviously, as the five star, should be better. Like, people might go, oh, well, we need four stars that are better than five stars. Hell no. That's not the that's not how that works. We need like as a business, the five stars should always be better than the four stars. Guaranteed. Seeing freaking Lucy and Reno over here being in the same tier is kind of off-putting. But anyways, should you summon on Caesar? I think if you need a good defensive unit, yes. But it's all dependent on what you have. Like, if you have, you know, like, Seth, you don't entirely need to summon for Caesar. But Caesar is going to be a, a little bit better than... Well, not a little bit. I think I think she's going to be a lot better than Seth. But it's really dependent on your team. So, but anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out Gamer Sub. So you can go to for 10% off. I'm happy to be back. Happy to be able to make some content. I've been I've been itching. I've been itching, especially with all the talks of all the lovely people I've been able to talk to. So, anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.